I hate that I hate reality TV. Wait, damn. <laughs> I hate that I don't hate reality TV. If you'd asked me pre-lockdown whether I liked reality TV or not, I'd have said, hell no, I'm a fiction guy. I love Game of Thrones, Person of Interest, shows that a lot of people don't watch. Avatar The Last Airbender, The Witcher, Lost, can't remember all the shows that I've watched. Oh, Westworld, oh, Westworld's so good. Most people don't watch it or like it, but I think it's great. That's my thing, right? Reality TV? Nah, not for me. However, since going into lockdown and since getting married, I have probably watched the most reality TV that I've ever watched in my entire life. We're talking an entire season of MasterChef, an entire season of The Amazing Race. I've never watched that start to finish in my life. When we were dating, I was lovingly made to watch Survivor. I know there are a lot of people out there that love Survivor. It's fine. It has a lot of the issues that run through all of these reality TV shows, which over time and over the years have kind of begun to irk me more and more. But I hear you thinking, Paul, you seem to watch a lot of these shows still. And you're right. For some reason, I just keep watching these shows. Shows like The Bachelor and The Bachelorette, I will admit, uh, watched a lot of when I was still living at home with my family. And that has carried on right through into my marriage. Look, my wife loves reality TV. And I understand why a lot of people do as well. It's the same reason I love a lot of fiction shows. Escapism. That's why we love TV, it's why we love entertainment. We can take ourselves into their world and kind of live through it. I live on the ground floor of our apartment block and there are people constantly, for some reason, in lockdown, walking past the window. We have one neighbor who, for some reason, whenever he steps outside, feels the need to talk incessantly. And he's just walked past and he's gonna think I'm filming him. So the point is, I've never been hooked into reality TV like other people seem to be. It's not the, the thing that I go to when I wanna watch TV. Or so I thought, enter 2021, <laughs> where Paul is married and stuck at home and there's not a lot of TV on, or I've watched everything. And suddenly I find that I've watched a lot of The Amazing Race, a lot more of The Bachelor, certainly a lot more of shows like MasterChef. Did I go kicking and screaming? Yeah, yeah, I did a little bit. I continued to point out the, the things that frustrated me about these shows. The biggest thing for me is knowing what's real and what's not. What are the producers telling these people to do versus what they're just coming up with organically? Take The Voice, for example, that's on right now in Australia. I am convinced that the ad lib things that the judges are saying are absolutely being told to them in their ears by the producers. There is no way they can know to say the specific things they need to say. So it takes me out of the experience. And I think that's the main thing with reality TV. It's gotten to a point where I'm just not sure of what is actually reality and what's not, because the reality is that on some level it's all staged, right? So it's not even reality TV. And yet, I keep watching these shows and I hate this about reality TV. I hate it. They pull me in, right? They, they've lured me in just by even half assedly watching from the kitchen. They pull me in. Take The Bachelor, which is again on right now. It's not a great season and that can be attributed to a lot of things, but there's something about watching people in these situations that makes you wanna have input. And that's how they get me. Shock, I'm quite an opinionated person and I'll be watching The Bachelor and I'll be like, oh, I bet you she gets sent home. She won't get a rose tonight. Because part of me loves a good old bet, but Part of me also loves being right, and I love being able to say things about these people quite freely and openly. And I think a lot of us do too. It's why shows like Gogglebox are so popular. We like watching people act kind of how we think we do. Let's be real, we've all had that moment where we're like, I could totally be on Gogglebox. Where am I going with this? Let's, let's pull it back in. Let's pull it back to the main point. I hate that I hate reality TV. No. I hate that I don't hate reality TV. <laughs> I keep watching it. There's just something about reality TV that hooks us. We can jump in whenever we want. There's no real pressure to watch every single episode. Although if we're really hooked, we will, and we'll go back and rewatch stuff to catch up. I've been <laughs> a victim of that this year, especially with MasterChef in particular. Of course, I'm more inclined to like certain reality TV shows. So I love Happy Been Paying Attention. That for me is like good, escapist reality TV because 
It's genuinely unscripted, I think, and it's just there for pure hilarity. There's no agendas between the contestants. Everyone's just there to have a good time. Cross-reference shows like The Bachelor, The Amazing Race, a little less so, but Survivor. Oh, Survivor and any of The Bachelors, Bachelor in Paradise, Love Island. Don't get me started. I know I have a lot of friends that watch those shows. The Love Islands and Bachelor in Paradise shows. I don't understand it. It's... I, Look, I guess it's just The Bachelor on steroids. I haven't watched a lot of it, not my cup of tea. Regardless, yeah, I hate that I don't hate reality TV. It's good stuff. Clearly there's something about it that just has me coming back for more and more. On that note, I hope you guys keep coming back for more as well. What do you guys think about reality TV? What have you been watching during lockdown? What do you watch in general? Do you watch it by yourself? Do you watch it with your family? Let me know. I'm aiming to put out weekly videos, so if you feel inclined, Subscribe, like the video, do whatever you want, and I'll see you next week.